So this lug trap is super simple and it's uh, supposedly rainproof, hopefully. It's really easy to get any recyclable container of sorts. Like I have a little bottle of water here that I usually use for winter sewing, but since winter is over and I have plenty, I'm gonna recycle this one. Uh, I would suggest you guys have like an exacto knife to cut, it's easier. And the idea is you wanna cut like a rectangle, just like this. Um, kind of determine how much you want, like how deep the liquid is going to be. I usually just pour beer in there. It's easier, cheaper, more efficient for me anyways. You can make your own if you want. Uh, you got to find a recipe for that though. But you want like to cut a big enough rectangle like this so the slug can crawl into and then eventually drown. I usually like to leave about this much um, and just to save on the beer part of it because there you are, it can get pretty pricey. So from here, you just kind of use the exacto knife here and just cut the hole. And that is it. The rectangle, not hole, <laughs> rectangle has been cut. And now we're just gonna go outside and put the trap in. I'll show you. So this is one of the hot spot of my garden. They've been munching on this poor little um, holly shock plant since, you know, it first came out. Um, in the spring and ever since I put the trap down look how you know a little more amazing it looks obviously so usually I put it like right near the base where they usually crawl um, you can see some are still on there look at look at that well actually no that's not it I don't see any much anymore but that's where the trap was you see a little hole there let me show you so you're gonna need any types of beer like really simple cheap beer i got like a giant um package of this for only like five dollars or something i don't know how many is in there like 12 not sure uh, but this is like the mini one but anywho um since we're doing back to eden it's a lot easier than regular but if you have regular garden just dig a hole that's equal to this you want it to level out to how much this is so just kind of make your little hole there to equal to that And then what you do is you're gonna place it right here like that and then you just put the mulch back to where it levels um, right there make sense anywho and then before I do that I just kind of you know unplug this or unscrew this and then pour the beer in to about I usually do about I don't know either level here or just a little bit under so it's not pouring out in case it does the rain somehow did get in it's not gonna be overflowing. That's it. Mm, there you go. The beard had the beer had been poured into this little jug, and then now I'm just gonna place it right here. And yeah, it's gonna once the foam goes down, it'll maybe like go to there. It doesn't matter. So now just slowly and carefully put the mulch back and not spill any beer like I just did. There you go. The idea is that you give them enough, you know, room to crawl up into it and trust me if they can crawl up to here from the ground they'll be fine you you're good there's no like big science behind it i don't think so just kind of you know put it in there make sure it doesn't get knocked over by anything there you go nothing goes in of course you want to seal the top especially if you don't have things to cover like this you want to seal the top so the water from rain and stuff won't get in but yeah, that's the trap. And here's the little area where I dumped my slugs earlier. And yeah, they're, they're all dead. Actually, some new one crawled over and tried to eat the remaining beer that was there. So I still have some left in here. I'm gonna go pour it into the rest of the other jugs. You know, I just left for a few minutes, come back, and there's new slug that found its way to the previous beer jug here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And put it right here actually this is one of those hot spot and place my little poured beer jug to here put the mulch back so many slugs one downside to doing this method but hey worth it right there you go. I there's not a lot in there, just cause I'm testing out and see what's the good amount to be in the jug. 
but there's definitely some in there. We'll check back in the morning. Here's another spot that they like to hang out. I've been eating my poor bean plants here. So I hope it's going to do a little better now that nothing is attacking it. Uh, this one seems to be doing okay. But this was where it was sitting, and that's where this jug was. It's like a smaller one. And then you just place it again on the level there so the slug can crawl in, but I wouldn't worry about it. They crawl pretty high. So as soon as they smell it, they'll come. And then I have a little bit left. I'm going to go ahead and pour that. And there you go, guys. Beard inside. Uh, this is pretty level to that little hole uh, or rectangle we cut up. Caps on in case it rains later. Should be good. So that's so far I find the most helpful um, in terms of dealing with slug. So I hope it helps you guys out. Thank you for watching. Bye.